everybody, another week, another dollar. Today is Sunday, September 13th, and these are the top five things to know. Kicking it off with number one, the main event of the week will be the Federal Reserve, which kicks off its two-day policy meeting on Tuesday with a decision due Wednesday afternoon at 2 p.m. Eastern time. The Fed is not expected to take any action on interest rates or asset purchases. Instead, Fed Chair Jay Powell is likely to repeat his message from Jackson Hole from last month that the U.S. Central Bank would be willing to let inflation run hot temporarily to help the economy and the job market recover uh, from the effects of the coronavirus crisis. Uh, in addition, anything uh, the Fed Chair has to say regarding the recent volatility uh, seen in equity markets will also be of note, uh, so keep your eyes and ears peeled for that on Wednesday afternoon. On to number two. In what will be a busy week in terms of the data releases, retail sales numbers uh, will be closely watched uh, to see if the ongoing surge in uh, coronavirus cases is impacting consumer spending. The latest monthly data, which, which will be released Wednesday morning at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time, is expected to show that retail sales rose 1% in August, uh, which would be down slightly from the increase of 1.2% uh, seen in July. On to number three, the other closely watched report on uh, the economic calendar this week will, of course, be initial jobless claims numbers due at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time Thursday morning. Analysts on average are expecting this week's report to show that another 838,000 Americans likely applied for uh, first-time jobless benefits last week. If confirmed, it would mark the lowest total since coronavirus lockdowns began in mid-March. You can track the data releases in real time on investing.com's economic calendar. On to number four. This week will also feature the first batch of Q3 earnings reports, global shipping giant FedEx, and software maker, and software maker Adobe, which both uh, published results after the bell on Tuesday, will attract most of the attention. FedEx has seen its shares nearly double off their March lows, uh, so we'll see if there's uh, more in that report uh, to justify further gains. Just a heads up, I highlighted one stock to buy and one stock to avoid in the coming week for my new Sunday post, so go check that out on investing.com uh, once you're done uh, with this. And finally, number five. Fiscal stimulus headlines will also remain in focus after the Senate last week failed to advance a coronavirus uh, uh, stimulus plan uh, brought forward by the Republicans. The legislation would have reinstated enhanced federal unemployment benefits at a rate of $300 per week. Uh, doubts have grown about lawmakers' abilities uh, to now approve any more stimulus uh, now that we have entered the final weeks of the 2020 uh, election. So obviously there's a lot on that front as well. Markets don't like the uncertainty on the stimulus front and we've seen that uh, in the price action over the past uh, couple of weeks. So again, stay tuned for that. That's it for me. May the trading guys be with you. Have a good week, everybody. Stay safe and stay healthy.